called Angels on the Streets. And Angels on the Streets is a pretty interesting program. But let me tell you how Angels on the Streets really happened. About four years ago, a guy that I actually went to Sunday school with in a past life uh, came to Canton with CBS Sunday Morning News and they did a program in Canton. And the program was really around something that had happened in 1933 and his name is Ted Gupp. Ted Gupp wrote the book called A Secret Gift. And it's a really good book. In fact, it's the best book I've ever read about the Depression. And the reason I think it's that is because it's from individual perspectives, a lot of individual perspectives, and how it really affected them and their family. But we'll get back to that in a minute. So CBS comes in and does a program about this book. And the reason they came to Canton is because in 1933, something had happened that was very strange. So what happened is that in 1933, an individual anonymously put an ad in a paper by the name of B. V-I-R-D-O-T. And the ad was very simple, and we'll show you the ad. And the ad basically said that if you were having trouble in consideration of the white collar man, if you were having financial trouble, you write him a letter, whoever Beaver Dot was, General Delivery Canton, Ohio, and he would keep your name anonymous and he would send you a check for $5. Originally, by the way, he was going to send out a check for $10, but he was so overwhelmed with people who send letters in that he reduced it to $5 so he could send more money to more people, or at least the same amount of money to send more people. Uh, $5 in 1933 is equivalent to about $100 today, with one great exception. $5 actually bought stuff in 1933. Today it buys you, uh, $100 buys you one half of a pair of LeBron James gym shoes. Not quite the same equivalent. <clears throat> what was interesting about this is that for 75 years, no one knew who Beaver Dot was. And every year our local paper, the Canton Repository, would run a story and it would talk about Beaver Dot and who was this man and how did this happen and will we ever know and it was just an ongoing story and I really started picking up on the story when I was about 10 years old. I started reading a newspaper when I was 10 and that made the cover of our paper every Christmas. And it was a great story. But quite frankly, it was one no one ever thought there'd be an answer to. Flashback to that three years ago, Steve, um, Ted Gupp coming to town, CBS. So what happened is that Ted Gupp went to visit his mother who lived up in Maine. And while he was visiting her, she handed him a suitcase that was his grandfather's. And it was an old suitcase, obviously. And Ted really didn't want suitcase. But what do you say to your mom? You take it and you say yes, and that was it. And he looked at it and thought, you know, it's an old suitcase with a bunch of old papers. What do I care? Unbeknownst to Ted, it was really much more than that. And he began to discover that. He opened up the suitcase at some point in time. And he started seeing there were these letters in the suitcase. And the letters were made out to someone named B. Verdot. B period V-I-R-D-O-T. He had no idea who B. Verdot was. His grandfather's name was Sam Stone. Sam Stone owned a clothing store in Canton, Ohio. And he just was frustrated by it. The letters were in bad shape. He couldn't read them. He couldn't make out heads or tails of what they were saying. It was poor, poorly written. It was just very frustrating. He finally just got disgusted with the whole thing and put it back in a suitcase and didn't want to deal with it. But a few weeks later he went back to it again. And this time he took out all the letters Instead of trying to read those, he went a little deeper and he found a stack of checks made out for five bucks to every to these people that he had no idea and they were all signed Beaver Dot. And he still was confused. He didn't really understand it. And then after that he pulled out that same advertisement that we had on the board and that was there and then it dawned on him his grandfather, an Orthodox Jewish immigrant from Eastern Europe, was Beaver Dot. And then he then the game game changed. Game was on. Because why did an Orthodox Jewish immigrant send out five dollar checks to a lot of people he didn't know for Christmas? 
and why did he do it under the name Beaver Dot? And Ted was just fascinated and, and curious and had to know. So he did a lot of research, he had a lot of people do research, and the result of that research was his book, and the result of the book was CBS coming to town. And the highlight of CBS coming to town, they took over the Palace Theater, which is a great theater, an old restored theater that was built in the 20s. And the highlight of that night is he had family members of all the people that had received letters get up and read their letters. Now, most of them didn't remember this or know anything about it, but they read the letter. The key, though, was he found someone who had actually written a letter who was still living. A lady named Helen, who was 94, came up and read her letter. Very powerful. And she remembered what she did with the money and how amazing it was to get this check. So, this was really cool. And I had been following the story my whole life, and I was just really impressed. <laughs>